All right, and staying on this news, we have another interview here for you. We have Senator Saud Anwar. Now, you have an interesting perspective because not only are you a state senator, but you're also a doctor. So we are very excited to have you here this morning. Thanks so much for calling in. Thank you so much for having me. All right, so your first thoughts when you heard this, that the president has contracted COVID-19. I was very shocked about this, and I was worried as well because uh, um, this is a serious disease. And obviously, as a lung doctor and ICU doctor, I have seen the ugly face of the disease, and you worry about uh, um, and, and, and hope and pray that uh, the president does not get the complicated version of it. So uh, the good news is that, thankfully, an overwhelming majority of the people, even in his age group, are likely to get better. Um, but but uh, things can get worse. And the question is, when would things get worse if they do? Uh, it seems uh, like uh, a lot of people feel like they're on the mend with COVID-19, all of a sudden taking a turn for the worse a long time after they first started showing symptoms. Yes, uh, I think this is very important because uh, what I tell my patients who have developed it is that uh, you have to rest, but also look at it that you cannot just to be overconfident. The second week is when things can get uh, much worse. Uh, uh, the second week is worse because um, I think by that time the inflammatory process, the reaction of the body, our immune system, actually goes uh, a little out of control in, in some patients and can result in the major challenges and the multi-organ involvement that we see. So he has to rest completely and stay the course and be watched very closely for minimum of the next two weeks. Uh, now, the guidance obviously saying 14 days for quarantining. Do you think that is still about the number? You know, numbers have changed throughout the course of this. So, uh, yes, it, it is a, a fair number, but uh, we have to be a little bit more cautious because some people who actually continue to have fevers and stay unwell, it could take a little longer. So in the absence of symptoms, it is uh, okay to have 14 days, but the persistence of symptoms and worsening of the symptoms, then uh, we have to watch that closely and, and, and follow tests to be able to guide us.